I'm making a short video about this beautiful Royal Albert teapot that I am currently selling on eBay. Look. It's in beautiful condition, the lid. There is a little bit of paint loss here on the very tip, which is consistent with it being rubbed. Looking at the teapot itself, I notice that there is some yellowing here. I'm always sure to point out all the good things and the bad things about pieces. I don't want ever people to be surprised. I'll turn the piece so you can see that there's a yellow spot there as well. There is some yellowing, and it looks here, I'll zoom in if I can, to capture kind of the texture of what's going on on that top rim. Looks like it's had, looks like a little bit of crazing with some tea stain inside of the crazing. Um, so that might be difficult to get out. I have not tried that hard. Um, there is some tea staining on the inside of the pot which is consistent with use and wear, especially with an age of a piece as old as this. Um, this piece dates back from approximately between 1917 and 1927, I believe. So we have lovely gold painting and we have a really beautiful pattern with rust swags and uh, green floral diamond emblems and floral uh, in an oval with orange, a little bit of yellow. So it's a very bright, sunny, and same on the other side. It is in very good condition. I do notice um, that there are, I see a little kind of a snag there I see a little bit of yellowing on the bottom. We do have the Royal Albert Crown China England mark. It does not have a mark. Here, I'll zoom out. It does not have a mark for the pattern anywhere. It is likely that this may be one of the unnamed patterns. I believe I referenced it as 417 based on one of the Royal Albert collecting sites. The tea lit pot lid itself is in great condition. Um, and overall, I think for the age of the piece that this is in really beautiful condition and I hope that it makes someone happy. I got it at an auction with several other pieces, including some smaller pieces like this creamer. Uh, unfortunately, it did not fare so well. Um, and this one also is unnamed. Um, I believe these might be a small sugar bowl or dessert bowl. It's so dainty and tiny. I have a couple of these little square dessert type bowls. And I have... Um, Quite a few saucers uh, and I intend to list all of these separately well not each saucer at a time I'll probably sell them in sets of five or ten